When it comes to drones, the sky's not the limit. Ben Tracy shows us a new type of underwater drone that can turn anyone into an ocean explorer. It cuts through the water like a fish, and this remote-controlled underwater drone can also turn on a dime. It's called Trident, and one of its creators, Eric Stackpole, hopes it allows anyone to become an explorer. What are you hoping to accomplish? My hope is that we can get 10,000 more eyes in the water, looking at parts of the world that no one has ever seen before. In the past, exploration has always been something you see someone else do. It's always been the famous explorers who do their expedition and come back and show you what they found. Undersea exploration began with Jacques Cousteau in the 1940s. Here we go. In 2013, Oscar-winning director James Cameron designed and built a one-man sub to explore the deepest part of the Pacific, nearly seven miles down. Trident can only dive about the length of a football field, but that's deep enough to explore countless shipwrecks. They've been used to find ancient Mayan pottery in underwater caves in Mexico. They've been used in Antarctica to explore under the ice. Some people took them to Mount Everest and explored a, a lake that's one of the highest altitude lakes in the world. Last summer, Stackpole sent his drone into Lake Tahoe, where they found the remains of a steamer ship known as the Queen of the Lake. We actually were able to land on the sink in this bathroom built in the 1800s on the shipwreck that has not been seen for 70 years. That was just awesome. We joined Stackpole's team on a test run of the new model in Monterey Bay on California's central coast. So what are we going to look for out here? So right now we are over a place called the Matridium Fields. Matridiums are large white sea anemones found about 60 feet down. While using her drone in 2014, Laura James noticed sick and dying sea stars near her home in Seattle. She began documenting the devastation. Scientists believe it's tied to climate change. When I look at the water, I see not just the surface, but the murky deep below, and I want to know more about it. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Monterey Bay.